green living is the life for me. I just love sustainability. Hi, I'm Rick Gardner. Thank you for checking out my blog. Today, we are at the Green Beagle Lodge in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And with me is David Schmidt. David, why don't you come on out? David is one of the co-owners here at the Green Beagle Lodge. And what's really cool about the Green Beagle is just the sustainability. It's everywhere. So, David, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about how you got the name Green Beagle. All right, Green Beagle, is, we are very concerned, Rick, about uh, being environmentally friendly. We think it's important to our clientele, we think it's important to us. So, when we did the design for the Green Beagle Lodge, we wanted to take green elements into consideration. It, we, the Beagle name comes from, uh, if we don't serve just beagles, we've had, uh, we've had beagles. My first dog ever was a beagle, and our, our partner friends have, have beagles too. So we take beagles, we take all kinds of dogs, but we have a softness in our heart for beagles. Very cool. So I, I noticed some, some features already. Um, you look around like right to, you, to, your, uh, to your left is the AstroTurf. Tell us about that. I mean, obviously you didn't have to plant grass. Right. Okay. We like, we like the, it's used AstroTurf, I should tell you. It's used field turf, technically. And uh, we have two, we have 30,000 square feet of turf here. And what's nice about it is that it keeps the dogs clean. We don't have to water it. We don't have to clean. We, we do have to clean it. Before. We don't have to water it, we don't have to cut it, we don't have to fertilize it, so there are green elements associated with it. And this particular turf came from a soccer field in Texas. The turf behind us over here is a football, was a football field in Texas. That, those fields are being replaced, so rather than this turf going to the scrap, the scrap heap, we, it, was, it was cut up very nicely and, and, and trucked up here so we could, we could lay it down here for the, for the lodge. Very cool. Now the other thing I noticed is the water elements of, of your uh, facility. I mean, obviously you got a, a pool for the dogs to play in, right. but is, is this water that's coming from the town of Chapel Hill or are you using some other kind of system? We have two water sources here. We have, a well, we have well water, which is used for a lot of the functions at the lodge. We also are reclaiming water, rainwater from the roof. So we take, uh, we take rainwater, it runs into a, a, a cistern that holds about 3,000 gallons, and it has some spillover capability as well. Those 3,000 gallons are used for a couple things in the lodge. They're used to feed our wet vac system, they're used for irrigation for the plants out front, and they're, and they're used for, clean, for, for other, other cleaning purposes. So um, that water, is at, it, it tests out very well because it, it has some, some filtration in it and some treatment as well, but uh, you know, well water and rain water to, to power everything that we need water-wise at the lodge. Okay. Then I also noticed that when I look over at, at your building that you've got a lot of those uh, those crystal domes. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what that is? Right. There's there's a, there's a couple things to think about up there. One is we built the lodge in such a way, again, with green being important, that we wouldn't have to turn lights on most of the time. So the building orientation is significant. The use of clear story construction of lots of glass block, and then the use of the solar tubes. You mentioned the solar tubes makes it so that on nice days we don't even have to turn lights on. On gray days we might have lights on just for kind of our deep cleaning to make sure we don't miss anything, but for the most part we do not have to turn lights on in the lodge. Okay, well very cool. Um, you know one of the questions I always ask, I mean this is a cutting edge facility, but if you had to build it over again, is there anything else that you would do or is there anything you would do differently? Well, there are things that we're learning about, you know, procedure wise, because we, 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 we knew we didn't think of everything before we first opened. So we've been open about eight weeks and we're, we want to be a learning organization. So we're, we're looking at what works, we're looking at what doesn't work, and, uh, and we're, we're tinkering. So we're tinkering a little bit with, with dog routing because we route the, the dogs through the day, a rotation through different yards, and, and we're making some fencing adjustments, things like that. But I'd have to say we're, we're pretty darn pleased with the building. The building's going to be a, a nice vehicle to be able to help us take great care of dogs. And what's the square footage on the building? The building's about 10,000 square feet. 10,000 square feet. And then about 30,000 square feet outside. So the footprint, I think, is about is about, um, is about about four acres here. You know, a, a, yeah. a typical place might have a, a play yard of a, of, a, of a few thousand square feet outside. We have 30,000 square feet outside. Very cool. Well, well, David, thank you so much for being here and uh, being on my blog. And... Uh, and I uh, hope you have a, a great, a green, sustainable day. And thanks for inviting us to the Green Beagle Lodge. Thank you.